Hey, Will Keeler from Roll for Crit. A little while ago, I did a video opening up the starter decks for the Cardvite Vanguard Overdress, the sort of reboot of the series with a whole new TV show and card system. And it's been a while, but apparently the people at Bushy Road decided to send us the newest starter deck, the number six, uh, for a character that apparently has been is now going to be a big major role in the second season that just started, Mireille Minai, Minay, I'm not sure, and I'm used to mispronouncing everything, so I apologize to everyone in advance. This is a new deck, and it's supposed to coincide with, I think, a new booster pack, which will take advantage of a mechanic in there. Awakening of Chakrabarthi. I feel like that's actually a word I should be able to say better. Chakrabarthi. Anyways, we'll put up an image. Uh, both of these are actually out right now, unfortunately, due to some delays and also just busyness of the end of the year. Uh, we just got this, so we're going to open up this new deck right now and uh, see what it holds. So this one is titled Sealed Blaze Maiden. I'm not going to try to comment too much on the character because unlike last time where the show was just starting and I could just make some jokes and make some guesses uh, because this character I I can't remember the exact wording but is like a major character for season two I don't know if that's going to imply there was a uh, some kind of major plot development and maybe we can make some guesses from what deck she has so uh, first uh, uh, we got a new guide, player's guide. Well, that's nice. Showing off her characters and some other ones as well. I won't talk too much about how the game plays and stuff because uh, you can watch my other video. But moving on, we'll just open this partially because it makes it nice for me. Besides just green background. And oh, there we go. Showing off all the fields there. All right, so we will pull this out. So, here we go. So, starting off, oh, pulling off the, the main character there. We've got Sealed Blaze Maiden uh, Bav Sarga. I think I'm saying that miscorrect. Now, I am noticing I'm seeing Red uh, Dragon Empire, which, if I recall, was the same deck archetype color of the main character, which makes me more sure that she has a significant role in terms of being either, I don't know if it's like JoJo or Power Rangers where they're changing protagonists each season, or the antagonist because they use the same kingdom as the main character. But of course, we've got multiple copies of that person. It's their key card. You always want the full set. Now, last time, we wanted to, we, they're able to make a picture, so we'll try to keep an eye out. In fact, I mean, you can see the foil, but I'm going to just put it on the other side because it's usually a little easier to try to make the portrait. Uh, we got another dragon. The, these dragons are, are, are more blue colored versus the red of the dragon kingdom we expect. Oh, we should actually read what she does. She, this is the new mechanic involving, I believe, it's arms. When the unit is armed... Choose a grade one or less card from your drop and, and call it back. And if it has two arms, retire all of your opponent's front row rear guards. And this unit gets more strength. Pretty much uh, arms is going to be your, well, equipment, so to speak, it seems. Like you can give creatures, attach other creatures become arms. So I think the idea is obviously she, uh, th this character wants to carry as many weapons in the battle. And it it either brings stuff back or takes out your opponent's stuff. So I'm having a Voltron feel here. And I'll get to that term in a little bit. So when it's placed on not that one, is it the next card? It is the next card. Uh, it lets you get some arms back. So this one is all about trying to make sure you can keep some arms. This sad dragon here... Uh, this is the one that can be placed on, and once again, it gets, this one is just attacking. Is this one can become arms? Uh, uh no, it just helps you, uh, I think go up. So far, I'm not seeing the picture yet. Maybe this one doesn't have one. Oh, no, that, I mean, that has the same background color. Uh, just the sealed dragon. A lot of sealed, a lot of sealed guys. 
Now this one looks like it's part of the picture. Lots of chains again. Um, and once again, finding arm. I'm not seeing an arms card if unless I'm missing it somewhere. I'm gonna guess this is somewhere. We're gonna try and find the portrait as we go along, I guess. For some reason, it's not nearly as easy as the last ones. It might not even exist. An electric dragon, big defense. Uh, not seeing on, this involves arms. This is the Sentinel. This artwork looks familiar. Maybe it was from the uh, same deck from before. That's our big guy, Sparky Snake Dragon. Uh, one revealed as a trigger. Oh, it's uh, the critical thing. All right, so that's what that's reading. Uh, we got a cool dinosaur, which is another trigger. And another trigger with a stealth dragon. All right. Oh, so she's more dinosaur uh, related, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I do like that. All right, here we go. These got to be our arms. All right. Right deity arm. Well, it's definitely part of her artwork. Uh, when the unit armed with this card attacks, the armed unit gets a power boost until the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, if your opponent damage zone has four or less cards, uh, blast and put this card into your drop. Okay, so... Choose one of your opponent's vanguard and deal. It, I mean, it deals damage, but... It's a very tricky, considering she wants to be constantly equipped. Then again, there seem to be a lot of ways to get him back. So there is the sword that completes that picture, at least. And I'm going to pull this guy back because I'm pretty sure the right side is the shield. And here it's the left arm. Um, let's see. Blah, when the unit armed to the card is attacked. So, yes, it's the... It's the opposite. So we definitely got the upper half of the picture. So from what I can tell, the portrait is just these three pictures, but uh, unlike the star decks, which are six, but that's probably just as well because this seems to be your bread and butter. Nearly all the cards in here outside of what seem to be normal staples are all about making sure you keep your equipment out in play. This seems to be, I mentioned it earlier, Voltron strategy, where it's pretty much we're going to throw everything onto one person and that's going to ruin your opponent. In this case, this lets you bring back stuff and wipe them out as well when, uh, whenever the uh, sealed Blaze Maiden is equipped. But it's one I'm not the most keen on. It's mostly because I've had some bad luck with it. It is a put all your eggs in one basic strategy. So if someone happens to have very good removal yeah even if you try to protect yourself and they're able to take out all your equipments or i don't think it'd be a little bit harder here but taking out the person who's carrying everything it can feel very hard to catch up that said like i said it is a common strategy hence the name voltron based on the idea of voltron or power just combining into a big thing and it's been plenty successful this is definitely one though because it's a, not a initial starter deck it's the starter deck release of the new box, uh, not box set, booster set that has a new mechanic. It's going to be one where you're probably going to need to invest in those booster packs. It's one you're going to want to check out the Vanguard community, look online, see what deck suggestions or cards that you should be looking for for this deck. And I'm sure there are plenty of fun new equipments in there that you can make it, this deck even more terrifying. As for, of course, the story itself, I didn't want to say more. Obviously, the fact it's the Dragon Empire again. I mean, there's only so many empires that are going to have doubles, but with them telling me that this uh, the new season revolves around this character, um, Mira, it's probably pretty significant, at least uh, when dealing with the protagonist. If you want to know more, I think they have uh, the episodes up on YouTube and stuff. I know it's more anime, uh, not channels, uh, companies. Uh, doing that, having them temporarily up for a while on YouTube, so probably pretty easy to find out her role. Like I said, you can buy this right now in the booster box. They're both available. They both came out because and this video got delayed, unfortunately. They came out end of December. You can actually look, not just this, but the previous starter decks were available. They were online. It's not too much of a markup. I saw it between 6 and 10, but the MSRP for these is supposed to be $3.99, so I would suggest you go to your local game store, not just because of the, uh, the price, but usually going there, they'll be more helpful in finding products for you, or if they don't, they'll be more than happy to find it for you. And that's where you're most likely to find an actual community of people to play with because a game like this, if it's not that big of a surprise, is more fun to play when there are other people at the table. 
you can let me know what your thoughts on this new deck is. Do you know anything about the character? Try to avoid anything big, spoilery. Like I said, I haven't been following, so I don't know what would be considered big or just like what you'd expect. And of course, if you're new somehow, if this is something, a deck type that interests you, and even more so actually, if you're a veteran and you somehow ended up here, maybe put some just suggestions in the comments of what people should look for if this is a strong archetype and one that would be really fun to play. Uh, that would actually probably be very helpful for a lot of people. Until then, I'm Will, and this has been Roll for Crit. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the video. But before you leave, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you want to help us out more, you can check us out on Patreon. And if you want to see us play about in playing board games or some video games, you can check out our Twitch or our other YouTube channel, Roll for Crit Live, for more longer form videos that tend to be streamed live. So come join us.